And welcome back. This is Coach Alfred on the War Rights event. We have a TSA. Hope you all are having a good week. And I do have a guest commentator with me from the 6 New York. How you doing yeah, this evening, Mr. Crash... Yeah, so I'm just here to crash the party, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> no, he's going to take over the channel because, um, you know, I just roll this into the 6 New York channel. I think that... <laughs> That's a hybrid I would be around for, man. That's cool with me. <laughs> Just turn this all over and be like, yep, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we got a TSA and we uh, go live at 43. So I'm just going to kind of go through the units real quick. So we got on the US, we got 9th Corps under Men of Mar. We got MWB under Zach. EB under Crazy Leg. Major Brook leading the two USSS. Warrior leading the 42nd. And Sigmar leading the 4th West Virginia and Tall Gray in there as well. Then on the CSA side, we got 20th Georgia under John Wilkes Booth. 1st VA under, I believe, Hankel. Looks like 20th Georgia under Gons, uh, Colonel Jumbo. Uh, 9th LA under Lieutenant Bowden, AB. 7th Tennessee under 1st Sergeant Savage. Got a shit ton of units in here, man. Holy shit. 19th Indiana under Yeti Man or Captain Joker. I'm not sure who's leading. MSG is in here as well under Slip and Jimmy. Then we've got Fort Georgia under Lieutenant Sauce. PB under Legion. HL under Captain Gene. And, oh, we got TB as well under Captain Galfe and First Sergeant Connor leading the first VA. And they got a couple guys on guns. We got Snapperkins from HL, and we got Robinson from the TB. And I think that's everybody, and I think I made it before the action. So we got a Hills counterattack. It is 235 on the server pop, 122 on the attacking CSA versus 113 on the defending Union. And looks like we got an early movement out here to the left side here by the CSA. Mr. Parker, what do you think of the initial uh, disposition here for the CSA? Would you change anything, or do you think they got it right? I I think they got a great opportunity here, really. I mean, whenever I play Union on hills, I I hate getting caught in these woods on the Union right. I think it's like a kind of a ticket kind of trap almost, you know. Um, it's it's kind of hard to hold just because of how thick and how uh, and how kind of obscured it is with all those trees and stuff. And I think you'll find the guys in the. I'm guessing this is forty second. It's a big ass line. Like they're gonna put some fierce bodies down, but I don't know if they'll actually take enough tickets off CSA to make it worthwhile to be honest so I think if CSA does push that flank they'll do very well because if they hit the 42nd hard enough all these guys on the fence are going to get kind of caught lacking on their right flank yeah I, the problem I, I, I agree with you and I think another element and let me know if you disagree is I think it's very easy to lose command and control here um, yeah because you get all the guys in there and you just get mixed up and who's who's given what command and it can get very confused very quickly uh, that's another reason I don't like putting too much in the woods here. Yeah, I think with the hills is a hard map because a lot of these maps I hate defending hey, behind the point of contention, but I think hills is one of those maps where you kind of have to. Down that line. Um, you know, a lot of people use the snake fences at the rear as their kind of base, you know, and then like kind of extend down the fence lines, even all the way on the other side of the corn, in fact. But it's a tough map, and it looks like the CSA is about to do that hard push now into the 42nd. Yep, and we shall go into the charge here. We have, it looks like HL, well, yep, HL in front. Oh, and I think that volley came in a little bit early, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Oh, they're going to hit him. Going to get brutal. Let's go, Need these Union guys on the straight fence to kind of wheel around and help here, because the 42nd, they're getting uh, some punishment. Yeah, it looks like the right side of the fence for the CSA got wiped, but this left side is working pretty well for them. Hell yeah, brother. Any one-to-one -one engagement favors CSA anyway, you know. As long as they're killing as many as they're losing, they're going to win over all. It's not a massive ticket advantage for CSA on hills, but it's an A ticket advantage nonetheless. And we have a bit of a counter charge going on here by the 4th West Virginia. Looks like Leperin's going to try to... Or Sigmar, I should say, he's actually leading, is going to try to push him off. So what do you think in this situation? Try to counter charge or fall back for the Union? Get out. <laughs> get out now, honestly. Like, get those flags back, I would say. Get the flags back to the snake fence and try and kind of reconsolidate. To be honest, this is kind of what I was saying about at the start. 
you can see exactly where the CSA are. You see that big, like, tree and bush position? It's really hard to see through that, and whenever it's hard to see through something, you're normally at risk of either a charge or a volley or anything, and I think you kind of pretty much witnessed that exactly just there. So yeah. the Union should just pull out and try and reform, I think, by the fence lines right now. I think you're right, and I'm looking at these uh, tickets. We've already, not quite half a morale state, but not that far off from it here at the 38.50 mark. Yeah. Is that, there's still a Union flag down here. I know you're hot on the flags here, Kota. You see this flag behind the... Uh, the yeah, and I, right now. And oh, he's, I, going for it, uh, he's, he's smart. He's going to go for it. I don't know if they'll get out of it, but he's going to try to get out of there. And he's still got a couple guys up. up front, though. That's. Let's see here. Yeah, you got a couple guys that are still hanging out here. This is not good. I, I do wonder. Um, obviously, uh, guys who've been watching the channel for a while will know from these events we do uh, currently play on a five second. Um, oh, sorry. I should say we play on a 10 second spawn timer, but there's been a few issues recently with making that happen. I wonder if it's gone back to the 5 seconds as opposed to the 10 seconds, because recently the, um, the 40 second PA guys haven't always been able to get it to work properly. I think something changed a bit with like the G portal command. So, I don't know if we can try and work it out from the sky or not, but um, it doesn't make a big difference. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, easy way, once the action slows down, I could just jump in and, and go to respawn to see how long it takes me. <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll do that for you real quick now. That'll be interesting to know for the, uh, for now, so. That does very much change, in my opinion, how these maps go. Right, so it is on the 10 second spawn. I'm queuing on a CSA flag right now. 7th in queue, 70 seconds information, so we are playing on 10 seconds. It is on the 10 second. Again, the original rule. So 10 second information, 20 second skirmishing. Yeah. Call it the OG style, I guess. Absolutely. Oh, Kilroy's making a move on the far left. No, what, what, do you, what do you think about this uh, maneuver by Kilroy here? It's ballsy, but I'll be real. It's, it's All these moves are tough because they're already behind on tickets right now. Unless you're assuming they're going to outkill at a rate of about 2 to 1, they're not going to actually achieve anything by this. I mean, you can see the ticket bar now. Union's probably halfway. CSA is a, 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 you know, a tiny bit in front, but... Um, that, that line right now is a CSA artillery hotspot. If they hit that line, I mean, you can see the CSA cannon position. It's a pretty beautiful shot. I imagine someone's probably dialing it in right now, in fact, if I, if we have a look. But um, that is a beautiful shot for an artillery guy, <laughs> if they can hit that 40-second line. Yeah, I think they're in the process of still uh, getting their cannons over the fence here, so I don't think they have the already set yet. But even without that, it's a bullet sponge. And, and you know, looking at the morale... Oh, maybe I... maybe No, I'm a dumbass. They got it out. They got a shot off. Kilroy is charging. And, Kilroy and, is charging. And wow. they charge in with about half his unit? Yeah, that's that's bold. I'll give him that. There's two lines ready for him, though. The first V and the HL. I think that's quite ill-advised, to be honest. And the 40-second might even lose their flag here if they're unlucky. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it out. No, he didn't. And the problem with this is now these are all, that's ten, you know, five tickets, another five tickets. It mounts so quickly, doesn't it, it right? It, it's I crazy. Mean, yeah, look at the morale state now. It's, you know, they made up some progress on the CSA, but, you know, it's a little bit more even, but you're, you're getting close to engaged now. Looks like Ninth Corps is doing a little pop volley as well. So is 4th West Virginia. What do you think about these forward shots here by this Union team? I, it, it, this is really one of the maps I hate the most because, in my opinion, there's right really here, not a good spot for Union. I mean, you can see on the far right the snake fence line. It's not a bad spot in, in practice, but there is actually a slight hill, which makes things really difficult to shoot straight down. Like, where the CSA did that first charge, right? You can't really hit that angle too well from where the EV is standing. So you kind of have to... If you want to get shots into them and try and get them to find a push before you go last stand, you've got to try and find an angle, which is... Difficult as hell on this map. This is a bugger. Yeah, I agree with you. And I didn't see. Uh, looks like 19th Indiana's in a little bit of a. Oh, EB's got a good flank way, on him here. Yeah, EB's going in. As long as they don't get carried away here, that's a good move. If they keep charging, I think they're going to lose that progress. He's saying reform. I think he pulled it off just in time. Who is who's leading them right now? Crazy legs. I think he pulled it back just in time. There's so many CSA just through this bush. You have the 20 of Georgia there, which is a wonderful unit for shooting. You got the HL mounted, like it's they gotta be real careful here. 
Yeah. It was a good move though, to be fair. That, that was a good that was a good like controlled charge there. It's just they don't want to get carried away here and kinda of get stuck up front, I'd say. You think that's the key? Have a little localized counterattacks, but make sure you don't get strung out here. I mean that's kind of so as defenders, if you win, you either need to outlast the entire clock or you need to try and get CSA to final push to cut the clock down, right? So you've got to try and find an angle to get those kills, assuming you get them to final push first. So kind of what Kiro was doing on the left, um, but with less, you know, positive effect is what EB just did then. And I'd say that's actually a really good move they did on the right side. It's just really difficult because you're always playing against a ticket advantage as defenders, apart from, you know, Maryland Heights, of course, but... For the most part, you're always trying to <laughs> you're trying to outshoot with tickets against you. It's it's such a tough job, um, but you know, fair play. EB saw an opportunity there, and I think they did really well. They 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 went up and they came back again. You know, a lot of units would have probably just kept you know carried on going, right? And then uh, they'd have melted against the uh, HL 20th Georgia line, which would have almost definitely have, have killed anything that came into it. Yeah, they would have pissed away whatever advantage they got. And to their credits, looking at tickets, it's not even, but it's it's close now. Absolutely. Yeah, they they got the was it? I think you said the nineteenth on the fence. They they got a really good side uh, on. Uh, it it, it on looked them. like the nineteenth in MSG from what I could see, and if I had that wrong, I do apologize. Yeah. Perhaps even more importantly, that CSA flag is down, um, and nobody in the HL or Twentieth Georgia looks like they're gonna make a move to get it. It's down by the tree, kind of between these two big lines. If you I, I, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't go get it. Uh, that's just asking for unless you're sending a mass charge forward. You know, that's that's not going to be worth it. That's just tickets. Yeah. I wonder if it's even glitched on the fence at all. Because sometimes when you get caught hopping the fence, it can be, go a little bit, uh, you know, skewy. <laughs> but... I, it is on the fence, so that, yeah. very possible. So they might even go on the wrong side of the fence to try and pick it up and then find out that uh, God is not on their side. <laughs> get shot by uh, one of these waiting Union regiments. Yeah, no, I think uh, I would, I would, I mean, for me, well, what do you think the CSA should be doing now? Actually, let me kind of put that as a question mark. You know, right now we're about even on tickets. You got a slight lead here. You're at 32 minutes. Union is in this corner. What do you, what do you think is the go-to strategy now for the CSA? I mean, if you break it down time-wise, so we've had, what, 10 minutes of gameplay, but they haven't gone down a morale state yet. They're obviously on the very brink, but rough, very rough rule of farm if they're not down a morale state every 10 minutes as attackers you're probably not playing aggressive enough if you kind of extrapolate that up then you're looking at 30 minutes to try and get them down to breaking essentially and then that leaves that leaves you 15 minutes to either cap point or push last stand and then get the cap or anything right i think they're a little bit behind time wise right now um so if they either mount up and try and take on maybe the the 42nd, which as we know, Hood loves a volley, right? No, if the CSA recognize that and mount up and try and take him in between a volley, they could definitely get a lot of tickets on the Union, as they go engaged in fact now, but um, I wouldn't say they're doing quite enough damage right now. I think maybe once those cannon crews come into play as well, it'll be different, but um, yeah, they, they, they probably need to consolidate just a little bit more. I mean, if you look to the very far CSA right flank right now, you've got the 9th LA shooting from what? 300 yards, maybe? I, mean, I didn't even notice. It. I didn't even notice those guys out there. Yeah, I... but there's nothing in front of them, right? They could close in another, all the way to the front fence line of the road, and you know, or even closer still. Um, in fact, to be honest, the CSA, I would probably say best thing they could do now is even cap. I was, I, I was, I was going to ask you that. In my opinion, if you're even on tickets, yeah, there is no. In my opinion, early game, early game. Later, it changes if you're going to get close to last stand. But if you know, you're in the battle ready engaged point, and you're even on tickets. Yeah. Cap, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, that's the important thing is the tickets, as you say right there. If you're even on tickets, there's not really a big risk to early capping. If you were ahead by a long way, then of course the recap for the, the counter attackers, in this case Union, would be kind of risky. You'd, you'd effectively undo all the progress you made. But right now it's, for you know argument's sake, let's call it dead level, which it pretty much is. I, I think they should capture. In fact, this could be a perfect job for the 9th LA. If they move up and get on point, kind of like close in that like uh, CSA's right flank just to stop any Union guys getting brave, right? They could capture the point and protect Union right flank, uh, sorry, CSA right flank all in one go. And buy the CSA another 12 minutes, right, on the, uh, on the capture time. So, yeah, yeah, I think a capture right now would be the best thing they could do. No, I agree with you, and you, you're in a very good position as a CSA of the Union, you know, either a small push or a big push, you know, get him into a big fight, 
Draw those tickets down. Yeah. And the CSA cannons look like they are now set as well. Like it looks like both cannon crews are pretty much ready to fire and aiming it on their respective locations. So this is the time where if you capture that the Union makes a push that. on point, you got two big well, cannons ready to pop some shots down. You know, this is this is kind of what you want is those cannons ready to put some heavy fire down. Which on hills, it's a big field. It's <laughs> it's a pretty nice uh, target for a lot of these guys. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you, you force them out of their cover, you force them out of their position. And... Oh, I, I believe one of the CSA cannon crews just uh, might have team killed someone then. I, I, I might have miss seen that, but I, I heard it, a boom. I was looking I for the shot on down. the on the Union line, and I did not see any Union go down, so I was very confused. And maybe I, that I is the wrong. answer. I may be wrong. Do you see the fourth Georgia guys crouching by the hay bales? I think that might have gone either through some of them or hit some of them. Uh, there is a wet spot, which only happens with cannon, so... Jesus yeah. Christ. Yep. We follow the line of the HL oh, cannon. I think fire, it fire, went fire, through fire, the fire, gentleman fire, of the Fourth Georgia. So, ye, ye, your sacrifice was uh, not in vain. Hopefully, <laughs> Fourth Georgia. Death, boys. Let's go. Hey, you know, broken arrow. You know, close as uh, you know, danger close, as they say. <laughs> so, yeah. Turn up that elevation a little bit, Mister. Oh my gosh, how do I say your name? Typhlosion. <laughs> hey, night. Now you learn my struggle when I'm thing. I'm, I'm looking at the names, and and this is technically mostly <laughs> NA. It's not even like okay, is this French? Is this Russian? How do I pronounce this? Is yeah, this German? Absolutely. Is it is it a Bieber? Okay, so it's a V instead of a W. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I think you did great with the um. What's the the captain in TV called? Um, is it Gal Galfe? Galfe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you did great on his name. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, there you go. You know. <laughs> you can't make it easy for me, you know. Oh, CSA can a shot overcooked slightly, but getting closer. Probably landed about fifty yards behind. Just where the 42nd PA is running now with uh, some of their reinforcements, so yep. might start getting some big hits in. Yeah, and then it looks like the CSA is redeploying here, though. Um, if I had to guess, I think this is a cap play here. Could be, yeah. So, so if you see this play here as a union, what do you think you should do as a union here now at this point to try to counteract what it looks like is going to be a cap play by the CSA? So the, the capture point on this map's quite big. Um, if you see exactly where HL's running now, the front of that bush is starting to be on capture zone. If they go forward another, maybe, I think, in fact, they're starting to get on it now. So the capture zone is quite big on this map. Um, the unit probably should start shifting left to try and at least put some shots into them while they're capping. I think uh, this is a horrible map to counterattack on. Um, but to stop them capping in the first place would mean they literally have to run into the field. So <laughs> they probably do just have to try and mount up and force a pretty quick and hefty counterattack was one. Which right now it looks like mm, mm, that's probably not going to happen. Looks like some guys are going far right. Some guys are going far left. Might no, get a little bit divided here. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot of dispersal here, which is good to avoid the arty, but... Now, the nice thing is, you know, the CSA did pull a little bit ahead on, on tickets, so you might get a little bit back, but... Is there a specific angle you think the Union should attack from? Or should they just go, do you think, just send in a unit to try to recap and survive, or...? I, I think the, the best angle on this one is... There's going to be no agreement. I think where the CSA is aligned now, they're probably best to come from the woods and the stuff on the right and get on the edge of the point there and then maybe retreat to the woods again once they capture. Um, but I think the 42nd's doing what they should be here, which is getting the recap as early as possible. I think the longer this lasts, the worse it'll be for Union, to be honest. So hopefully they get some help from the rest of their friendlies, which are now starting to move up in all fairness. But yeah, they want to cap and get out, I'd say, because them cannons are probably licking their lips right now <laughs> and counting how many shots they can get down. Yeah, and, and the other thing, too, to keep in mind is, and I've, I've been trying to stress this to people, too, is, you know, if you're in a, if you're on a counterattack and you're killing the enemy, that is less tickets you'll get back if you're behind. It is. It's a horrible irony, isn't it? Yeah, so <laughs> because, uh... you actually don't want to kill the enemy when you recap. You actually just want to, if you're behind, you want to do it, and it starts coming some arty. But, you know, it doesn't matter how many you lose if you're going to take it back. What matters is, okay, they're still high? Cool, I'm going to end up even with you. But, you know, yeah. if, you, if you lose half a morale state for them, you know, 
you know, shooting for five minutes and then counterattack, you just killed yourself. You just... Yeah, absolutely. What, what could be good for the cannons here is if they died in a shot and fire it as soon as Union recaps, they could get a real nice uh, nullification to the Union ticket advantage. Yeah, like Looks right like now. Looks ready for a shot here as well. Yeah, I think he might be thinking that. Nope, no. Nope. Yeah, shot a little bit oh, earlier. <laughs> but yeah, that's another thing is, you know, at this point, like, okay, hold my shots because, you know, it's not going to mean anything. It's just going to go back. So wait that a couple extra seconds for that cap to happen and then shoot. Yeah. Oh, Rix is getting pretty brave here on the uh, Union's left flank. He's running almost into the mouth of the... <laughs> the mouth of the lion's den, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh yeah, Rick. I wouldn't. I mean, he's got a nice, nice size unit this time. You know, he's got at least six guys with him, so. But to see somebody nice having a good show on. But he I does, But the I, moment one of those dies, that's all skirmishing again. Yep, I would not. I would. I don't know why he's here. I'll be honest. I, and I'm it not. looks like a guard is charging <laughs> from the 79th. Uh, without his bayonet. There's one. <laughs> so now they're all skirmishing. So. Yeah. There's another. This is this is where it really starts to cost, because this is skirms on skirms right now. Yeah, which... but the C but the CSA can afford it. Exactly. So it looks like we've got two union. Oh, and only one union survived out yeah, of the group of six. So the 79th. Okay, you won the battle, but you you kind of lost the war here. Exactly. So they had what one information? In fact, the one that died information probably wasn't information because he went first. By yeah, himself. I did, you know. So he was probably in skirmishing, which means the rest of them were all skirmishing around yeah, line. Yeah, you're probably looking, I would say that probably cost you anywhere between 15 and 20. Yeah, which is as much as the 42nd loses in an entire engagement <laughs> when they charge somebody, right? So, it adds up. Yeah, it's it's tough. It really is tough. you got to try and find a way to leverage your numbers, but unfortunately, I don't think that is the way to do it, uh, as you saw just there. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, like, what the semi, I mean, who is this over here? The two USSS? I don't mind that positioning over there. Over on the that makes uh, sense. That's on smart. the corner. Absolutely. One per fence post, put some accurate shots down. Yeah, they charge you, go back into you the know. corner. It's out of bounds for them anyway. And you know, even if it wasn't, they'll get lost in the corner chasing you. Yeah. Now I don't know about That's going it. forward. They are running up. I was gonna say I just, <laughs> you know, I just gave you a compliment, guys. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Commentate is cursed, they call it in football, I think then. <laughs> is, is is that what it is? Yeah, in, in uh, football, whenever the commentator says something, normally the uh, the opposite kind of happens. So. <laughs> like, oh man, this is great. Oh, I'm not doing the exact opposite. God damn it. <laughs> but again, you know, coming back to the corn, you know, not not reloading out in the open. This is all good. Uh, the Hills counterattack is a really curious map because this is what happens so many times now on Hills. You get a repeated sequence of CSA captures, Union recaps as quick as they can, rinse and repeat, right? Which normally favors attackers. Because the, the the defenders only catch up on that t um, tickets whenever they recap, and then normally by the time the CSA captures again, they you know they got a slight lead again. So well, here, they're going here, for the recap straight away here. <laughs> here's a radical strategy for you. Don't shoot. Yeah. Stay in perfect cover. I mean, yeah. And then they cap, come out, recap, come back in. It's not fun, but. <laughs> You know, it's like uh, the reenactment event today. It's like, just shoot above the heads, guys, you know? Ah, uh, the old shoot above the head tactic. Love that, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor, uh... Poor Lemuel. Poor Lemuel. Got, got TK'd like three times today, you said. Yeah. I could sense his malice in his, in his message. But no, he was, he was not a happy camper. And, and, and I can't really blame him too much. Yeah. So 42nd is back on point again straight away. But it's not ticking down anyone near as quick this time, so they're probably going to need help. If anyone in CSA moves up, they could probably start nullifying this cap. Well, the CSA looks like they've moved up as well, and to be honest with you, I think this is smart by the CSA not to just give up the cap. Absolutely. To, yep. to actually make it a bit of engagement. So even if you're losing a few tickets, it's fine. Because again, if they're going to, you know, you're going to let them recap, at least make it go down a bit. Yeah. You can also see the 42nd is probably the only point uh, unit on point. The no, other Union regiments like they're behind. Yeah, I think EBs might be on it. I can't tell. You got some elements of 9th Corps on their left flank, which I think are just on it. These guys are the front. It looks like the oh, 79th, 79th is dying is again in the bush. Uh, out of line. I mean, it doesn't matter with the recap. That time it actually doesn't matter if you're going to recap there. But again, if the CSA is going to you know, make you pay for it a little bit this time, I think that's a better strategy. 
Now this calf is not going as quick this time, which as you said, the longer this goes on really does favour the uh, CSA. Because even if Union recaps the overall tickets they're getting back, just from the fact that Union is shooting back at them, the overall tickets they're getting back aren't going to be as great anyway. Because CSA yep. is actively losing tickets now, so... Again, for the CSA, as long as you stay, you know, above water, stay even, it's fine. Yeah. You know, you don't obviously don't want to just throw away tickets and go below morale state. You know, but... To the CSA's credit, if you look at the 42nd PA line right now, they have decimated them. There's like maybe six guys left in the flag. No, they're doing, they're doing a very good... They're concentrated fire on him right now. No, and I think that is a huge thing that I think a lot of... I'm, I'm glad I'm seeing it more of, especially with the five second is you really need to concentrate your fire as a side and knock out a unit, and that can have uh, this big cascading effect. Because you keep getting your five in. But if you yeah. can knock out a flag and they don't get their five in anymore, the five second in, you know, six every 30 seconds, you know, that's 12 a minute. You know, within two, three minutes, the math, you just can't overcome the math. CSA counter charge. Now, this is, this is good, I think. They've got a big ticket lead now, and they're stopping them actually capture. If, if they... If they successfully kill them all and reset back on point, I think they've done excellent here. They just got to be real careful that they don't they don't disperse on this charge because it looks like there's a strong Union line that survived and now there's a flanking Union unit with the elements of the 42nd. They got to be careful the CSA counter charge here doesn't get split up like it kind of is doing now. Yeah, I'm not too sure. It wasn't a fully committed charge. Yeah, it looked like the CSA left flank went for it, but the CSA right held. No, now we've got 40 seconds trying to charge in, too. You can see the tickets are dead level, though. What was that? Maybe two, three seconds between the take and losses change over? It, it's, it's, both sides? It's, it's close to dead even. So CSA has just bought themselves without costing the clock. They've bought themselves another one. Half a morale stayed down since the last cap. Yep. That's a pretty good trade. <laughs> like, I'd, 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 I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, it's a long round, but if you could trade. That's <laughs> so... so what I'm saying about this map. It's a really peculiar one because it just ends up being a very long sequence of captures and recaptures normally when it goes on. Well, I, and I'm, I'm a little, not peeved, but kind of surprised the Union is not sending more troops in to take this point. Because there's not much yeah, left this... here. The CSA is actually pulling out, is the ironic thing here. Yeah, You've only you... got the 20th Georgia line, yeah, which is yeah. left solid. And if you could have knocked down two of their flags on point, man, it would have, you know... It buys you some time, man. We do have 19th Indiana over here with two flags, still kind of a threat. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to... Oh, would you, would you, if you were Wilkes Booth, would you take the point, or would you uh, kind of pull off and let them recap here? I, I would anticipate the Union is going to pull back out again as soon as they get this capture, because if you look, the only unit on point right now is this MWB group. They're probably going to turn around and run now. There they go. Back up, back up. Go back up and capture again. There's no one there. In fact, the 20th Georgia's whole unit is pretty much together. They could probably capture it themselves if they wanted to, while most of the Union's reforming near their main spawn. Just start that clock again, right? It's, yep. <laughs> it's, it's 22 minutes left, but in the last, what? If you think about the first 10 minutes, they weren't even engaged. Uh, We've gone down another 10 minutes. But because of the recaps, obviously they're now edge taking losses. But they've they've done a lot better in the last ten than the first ten, put it that way. So really, I think they should just get the capture as soon as they can again here. No, I would agree with you. It's it's this again. If you're dead even on tickets, now the only thing I would be cautious of, um, I think they're fine for it now. But you always do want to avoid, you know, possibly getting put on final stand. So yeah, not I mean, final stand, last stand as the uh, you know capping and then getting put onto last stand. Which is tough yeah. to do with seven minutes, but if you're, you know, on this map, it's a little bit tough, but that, that is something I always caution people on. Yeah, I think general kind of general rule of thumb, I, I don't normally worry about that myself Online. until I'm half a morale state down. Good job, um, until that time, I think CSA really just should capture again, like right now. Until they get like, until that uh, ticket bar goes between the G and the L of taking losses, that's when I'd start being a bit more hesitant about it. But for now, just get back on it, capture. I'd also like to see, kind of side note, I'd also like to see these cannon crews just a little bit more. Um, this is a great map for CSA artillery um, to have an advantage on, because there's no Union artillery. Um, 
It'd be, it'd be good if they can really get them zoned in a bit more. I think that last shot went over again, looking at the smoke behind the... Uh, what unit is this here? The 9th Corps, I think? Yeah. So they're overshooting a little bit right now. If they can yeah. zone that in a little better. I'll be honest with you, man. I wouldn't even shoot these guys. I just have everything zeroed in. Because I don't think there's restrictions. Are, there, are there restrictions on cannons? I can't even remember the rules on this one. Um, I believe it's... Uh, I think it's kind of unofficially two per cannon. Oh, no, sorry, no, sorry. It is officially two per cannon, not including officer. Okay, so, so, so never mind, yeah. But I, if, if it wasn't, what I would say is don't even bother shooting at the things in the back line. Just have everything primed and ready to go on the point. Yeah, I mean, I think cannon crews work best when they either do one of two things. They either concentrate fire on, like, one spot, or they bully a smaller unit and get skirmishing out of line tickets, like, because they're crouching. Or if there's a stationary skirmish line, then try and explode them, you know? And uh, just try and get some ticket losses off them. Like, hitting a big line by the back of the, like, you know, these back fences is all well and good, but it's probably not doing as much damage as you could do with that cannon right now. I agree with you. And it looks like they are doing what you were talking about, um, and they are going to go and recap again here at the 1930 minute mark. Yeah, in fact, it looks like the same detachment of HL. I assume this is exactly what they're planning, because it's the same group going each time. It looks, it looks like, like yeah, Wilkes. yeah, it looks like Wilkes was leading it out there, yeah. Yeah, and they're going to the very edge of the cap zone. They're smart here because a lot of units will obviously go to the flag points, but they're going to the exact edge of the cap zone to get it, and then running back. You know, that, that's where you know knowing the maps comes in handy. And once Absolutely. more, you got 40 second out here, but again, they're going to catch a lot of the fire here, unless these reinforcements come out and aid them, which looks like they are now. Yeah. It's always one of the things which in some of the events we do, people forget, you know, that Tiki is a very big blessing. You know exactly when you're on the point these days. And you can help defend or capture as you need to. Slightly over on that cannon shot, just over the 40 seconds line. Yep. Bounced right in front of me, Jesus Christ. Excellent. That last volley did more damage than that. Yep. I'm kind of surprised the CSA is not moving forward and contesting this again. I think they're a little bit too far back now. It looks like they're content with holding the fence. For them to counter charge, they'd have to cross over the fence and run in, which is probably enough time for you to volley, reload, and go again. So. Oh, well, I was just thinking, just go over the fence and just get into a shootout and just stay on. Oh, they are they are charging. They are going now. This would be a really good time for those CSA cannons to get hit too. But that's yes. See, now I wouldn't charge here, I don't think. I would just get into enough to stop the cap or just be in a position so when they get off cap, you can shoot them. I don't know I they... charging might work, but... This actually might be advantageous because they're hitting them as soon as the capture went in. Ah, oh, yes, you're right! So they might not have stopped the, the golden timer to win, I guess, on what you can call the quick timer. But they have just hit them as soon as they've recapped while well, most of the union didn't have reloads and were ready. And as you see now, the kind of momentum of the charge has carried them through to the no, point they've actually they, got a lead again on tickets. They got a lead. You're, I think you're right. I think it actually worked better that way. I don't know if that was the intention, but the timing of that, if that was the intention, was pretty much perfect. They hit them exactly as the cap concluded. came off, so they didn't... Yep, yep, you're and right. And the ticket started bleeding real quick again. So just like that, they're half down taking losses, and it's only been, what, four minutes since our last check-in? on 20, the Yep, we were, we were at 22 on the, something on the last cap, and now we're at 18-something, so four minutes... And from Ralstein, like you said, 10 minutes is kind of your uh, standard, so you're coming in under that. And look at that, they're capping again. <laughs> so, this is where it does, as you said earlier, it's kind of start to get dicey, though. CSA is about a third down taking losses. They just got to be careful. If it goes another third down, yeah, that's I when it's like, hmm, I think, maybe don't go anymore. Yeah, I think, I think they got one more in. Yeah, I'd agree with that. As I say, over the G of taking losses, I think you're safe. When it gets under that, that's when you've got to make sure, especially in an event where there's no Steam chat, you know, Discord comms and stuff like that, between units, that's when you've really got to make sure your guys are together, because uh, it would only take, like, a few wipes of the smaller CSE units for you need to start, you know, <laughs> turning the tables on them for tickets. Now, and this can be a very nasty final push map, too, given the ground. Absolutely. When Union plays this map well, it is a great map to hold the final push of the CSA on. Because you see them coming the whole way from their main spawn. Of course the cannons are looking at you too. But you see them coming 
across two open fields, fence lines which slow them down even more. By the time they hit you, they have no stamina left. No, they they yeah. have they have three objects. They got three fences. They got to jump over from their spawn, and it's all Absolutely. open ground. Yeah. So unless your cannons are hot Top shit that day, <laughs> you're getting shot fire. the whole way. <laughs> Independent fire, boys. TB, do you need to get this flag up? We're still down. Ah, oh, there we go. Knight got the flag. <laughs> Making himself useful. Yeah, the there you go. There you go, Knight. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you go. That's the mark of a good NCO. Look at that. Encouraging the officers. <laughs> there you go. Now, we do have a movement by this Union element out here. Who is this? EB, looks like they might try to catch these skirmishers out here from the 4th Georgia. Which might be some nice tickets if they can catch them. Mostly overshooting right now, though. Oh, they got one. So that's that's three tickets. If they can catch the other two, that's another ten. Dora got out of there. Can uh, Mike get out of there? Dora got shot in the lead. Oh, did he? All right, that's five tickets. Yeah, yeah. So that's eight tickets lost so far. Mike is serpentine professional, though. He, he, is, he, is. Is. Doing, guys. he <laughs> is. This is. This might go in the instruction video, man. He learned off Michael Jackson. He oh, is. Right. Look at that man. Look at him. Look at him. He's still going. He's still Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he's pretty much in safe lines, and he's still doing it. That is commitment right there. I like. I like Reg. back to the front. <laughs> Well Let's done, Mike. Oh, actually, I'm not going to say that because that's going to sound very unflattering to myself if I say that guy's name. But well done, Mike. That, that's, <laughs> Good job. I, I can't with the names, man. I got to be careful with what I'm like. Okay, Mike, that is your name. Then. Yeah, Mike or Small. <laughs> that's all you get. Get ready, boys. Get ready. We're going to dig right into it. Like HL is going to try and attack along the uh, same fence to catch EB here. There's a lot of Union in front of him. I wonder if TJ is AFK on the point here, or if he's spotting and communicating back to the HL, because he's kind of like very strategically placed directly underneath the point here. <laughs> um, a little bit of a forward observer, maybe? I don't know. Or if maybe he, maybe he is just AFK, I don't know. I, I, I'd bet AFK. But, you know, he, he could He's be. still alive, though. He's still alive. So, well done, TJ. Good cover. <laughs> in fact, I think somebody's running up to kill him now. Never mind. Oh, no. I think a Gowanus smelt him. Here he comes. Oh no, maybe he didn't. Does he see uh, him? He's hanging out. Oh, he doesn't see him. Oh, TJ is perfectly camouflaged. Well done, TJ. Oh, now we got a big charge here by the CSA on this left side. Yeah, ramping up the pressure here. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to try to get him into breaking in a sneak cap. Right side, right side. It's moments like these, you've got to remember the 10 second flag timer really hurts the uh, Union receiving a charge now because that, that EB group just got melted. The, the United teams didn't actually really go all the way in, but they couldn't get no. any respawns back pretty much. So. Uh, and HL is almost all, you know, reconstituted already. Yeah. Another good ticket win for CSA. About a quarter left taking losses for Union. Yeah, I mean, CSA's it's not far behind though, to be fair. No, but I, I think this is. Cool. It's much harder now with the with the CSA up there to do those uh, counterattacks. Yeah. Um. But we'll see. They are going in though. They are going in to, to pretty much shoot them in the face here. The uh, the TB group. Probably on the edge of where the uh, CSA can go on this map. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's about as far as they can go. But they're now in an excellent position to cap. They got they got the high ground as you would say. Yeah. Well, to be honest, the, the CSA only has to get a few more, you know, if they kill a unit like the 79th and maybe one other little unit, they're probably great, to be fair. They've only got to get a couple more wins across the field and they can do it. That's, that's a good arty shot or two as well. Absolutely. If that arty manages to hit the dead center of that 79th line, that is four skirmishing tickets straight away. Who is on the cannons, actually? I want to see him, uh, see if we can get a good dialed in shot here. HL's turning towards the corner, it looks like. You can see the smoke quite clearly on that, uh, kind of left corner of the corner nearest to the Union spawn. The, 
You got the ninth LA still all the way out that corner. <laughs> Yeah. On this other side of the field. <laughs> they're, they're vibing, man. They're, they're, they're doing their thing. They're hanging out, man. Hey, as long as they're having fun, man. As long yeah, as you're exactly. having fun. To be oh. fair, if if they hit this unit coming down the road, what unit is this with like five or six guys? I imagine second? two USS. Yeah, it's two USS. Yeah, so that's that's a good ticket opportunity for them. They're using a snake fence line. If they can hit a few of those guys, maybe one information or two, and then the rest of them are skirmishing, that would, that would make a difference. Uh, hits I, to be honest with you, I think that might get you down because it's it's very close now. Absolutely, and the second US is I think seven guys total. It looks like so that's a skirmishing opportunity. In, is in in ticket skirmishing. There's a couple guys at the back here reloading as well. If they point blank them right now, that might knock them to breaking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unfortunately, all, the Union is not in a good position to recap either. They got to jump over a fence. So it, it, mm. it, the CSA is pretty much perfectly poised to just run down here. I think the uh, the Union should probably bite the bullet and get on point before CSA gets yeah. there now. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't think they're going to get there in time from their current position. No, and, and even with just shooting at this distance of this corner, they're picking off a guy or two with each volley. You know, that'll yeah. do it in the next 30 seconds. Next 30 yeah, seconds absolutely. to a minute. Not even worried about two USS if they get popped. You know, same, dis same difference. You have the entirety of the 42nd on the hard left here as well. They're quite a long way away. And that is the biggest Union unit. Oh, God. They're, ch to... they're chasing 9th LA. I don't think they're chasing him. I, I don't even know if they know they're there, to be honest with you. If the 9th LA popped up now and put a good volley down, they're probably breaking. The rest of the CSA captures for them. That's game. You're right. They're aiming north. Why? Why is here? They don't, they don't know they're there. I'm telling you, if the Night Valley shot right now, and probably killed like four dudes between their six. Oh god, they're, they're running across the field in front of them. Why? I, this was your actually, moment! This was your moment, Bowden! To be honest, that's probably the second best opportunity. He probably knows they're almost breaking. He's thinking, I need to cut them off or I need to get nearer to the point. So, yeah. if he turns around and shoots them now, then fair play. Actually, yeah, he's going to engage the oh, two USS. He's engaging the second US. That and might that, knock him to break. That might do kill. it right there, yeah. Kill a guy, Bowden, go on. Boom. Oh. Unlucky. <laughs> no, that was, edge, that's close. Teetering. That is close. It's, it's literally a, a what? A couple more guys, and it, they're there. That's it. So. There's some Fort Georgia guys down here as well. The 42nd is still on the far snake fence. They've got across a snake fence. They'll and never, two they'll, straight fences. They'll never reach point in time. I, that makes no sense to me. I'll be honest with you. Well, fuck, man. I, 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 I can only recommend they go now because. They go across three fences. CSA just runs down to, like a field. You know? I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they got to go down maybe ten feet. You know, it's it's you yeah, know. it's. Yeah, I I think the union's kind of uh, gonna shoot themselves in the foot here, to be honest. Yeah, There's I mean, no just because you're on breaking position. doesn't mean you're dead. You know, if you if you make it a big fight on point and get them down to final push before you get the last stand, you know. Oh. You, Time-wise, they could hold as long as they don't uh, lose the cap here. Bear in mind, we've got nine minutes left, roughly ten minutes per morale state. They could hold for nine minutes in breaking and last stand. But I don't think they're anywhere near enough to the point is the issue here. And they're going to slip into breaking regardless now. Because if they try and contest the cap, they're going to go breaking. If they stand where they are, they're going to go breaking anyway. Either way, they're going to go breaking. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You might as well just be in a position to contest the cap. Exactly. That's what I say. Bite the bullet and get on point. Accept the fact you're going to lose people getting to the point. But at least you're on the point, ready to defend. There it is. There they go. 40 seconds needs to haul ass right now. It looks like they are just finished the load as well. So see that? Are already screaming down though. Yep. It's too. It's too late. It's so far away. There's such a big distance here. This is kind of crazy, to be honest. See, see, say you'll have time to get their loads, get in position, and just massacre as you come at them. The only thing that might help me is there's a lot of CSA holding just behind them. They didn't all come down to the point. I don't know if that's going to make enough of a difference, though. I, I don't it think might, it will. It might just, as that Union group on the far right hits point, it might just. Uh, they get, they're taking too many losses coming in. CSA has has their loads, has a spear. Fire now, I'd imagine, but the Union actually did really well on that counter charge. To be fair, they did they did well. They just left it crazy late. <laughs> Too far away. Let's go, Tessie. 
I think the 40 second is on the edge of point here, but the issue is they held back. To be honest, I think they'd have been better to pile in and help the rest of their friendlies. Speed in detail. Absolutely. As, as big as the 40 second PEA is, they can't fight the entirety of the remainder of the, uh, the CSA. Now oh, they're pretty much just enveloped between everything that's left see. of the CSA. Oh, Yankees died! Come here, fuck you! You're dead! Fuck you! Rebels on the left, boy. behind. Behind, Le Rebels Casey's behind. Casey's here, boy! Rebels to the left, guys. And that's how it ends. Any, uh, any final thoughts? Uh, CSA played it, I think, exactly as they needed to, to be honest. Um, a couple good moves from the Union. Uh, I think that move by the EB on the far right, where they collapsed the 19th, was... That's kind of the smart, very controlled defensive charges that help win as defenders, but they, they did exactly what they had to do, the CSA. That HL group that kept capping every time, that looked very intentional, so fair play and, and props to them. Um, yeah, I think the Union just got a little bit too spread out at the end there, and uh, unfortunately that final charge then splintered as well, but it was a good round to watch. Um, that's, I'd say, a fairly textbook kills counter-attack, though. Yeah, I would agree. Nothing, no, no, no big surprises, um, you know. Some, but um, yeah, it's not easy without Steam Chat, especially. But anyway, we got uh, one more map coming up, so we'll uh, stop it here for now, and then pick it up here once we got the next one set.